you know, if you could move anywhere in the world, where would you move to? You know, let's um, get the layout, you know, the crib, you know, okay. the whips, you know. So, me personally, I would move to Dubai. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I'm Muslim, and it's a Muslim only country. Country? Yeah. Country? <laughs> I was about to say continent, but nah, nah. It's a Muslim only country. Uh, it's peaceful. Mm-hmm. They like, they, it's a rich economy. Mm-hmm. So, like, like Rolls Royces is like Hondas out there. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they got crazy whips. So. They got crazy whips. So, but the whips I'm going to have, probably a McLaren, a Lambo. Like a Lambo, what though? Okay, yeah, I'm going to be more specific. Like probably, McLaren, we know, like, you know, it ain't really much to do with. Probably a 765 LT mm-hmm. McLaren, uh, Lambo wise, probably a SVJ Aventador. Them had some cool, like a Camaro, being like an Escalade V for the family car. You know it. House, depending on how old I am. Like, if I can move right now at my age, I'm having a penthouse. Mm. Top, I can see the whole, whole. But then, like Rod Wave said, yeah. top floor, high as ever could be. Yeah. What? Yeah, for real. <laughs> and then I get older, start a family, get like a big beach house mansion, you know, let my kids run around on yeah, the beach. That's what I'm saying. Right now, I'm, I'm a, I go to like Puerto Rico, you know, get a little house on the beach, you know, a little cool modern mansion, you know. Right. You know, you know, the, 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 the V's, you know. Yeah, it is. Come with Hell no. But you know, I need a cat. Okay, I need a lamb. I need a lamb truck. Okay, then I need a Hellcat truck. Just, just for the fun of it. Like, you know? like a track off? No, no, no. Like a truck truck. Like a TRX. Mm. Okay, got you. Like got a you. truck truck. I got you. I got you know? You. And then let's see, let's see. What else? We don't even really need nothing else. But you know, we get like a little dune buggy or some shit. You know? Oh yeah. A couple four of four wheelers. wheelers you know? For the beach. We out in a. Co- I mean, not Costa Rica. We in Puerto Rico. You know? We can't you gonna get it crazy. Like, Rainforest. Yeah. Yeah. We gonna be living lavish up there. Be tigers out there. Living like, lavish. I'm gonna be taking pictures with them. I'm gonna name them. I have a pet tiger. I'm gonna, <laughs> like Mike Mike Tyson. Like Mike Tyson did it. Oh yeah, I, I rocks with that. I rocks with that. <laughs> um. Hey, bro, what's your, what's your dream fight? Like, if I can fight anybody. If you fight anybody. Um, if I can fight anybody, like right now or like retired. All right, well, we'll do current, and then we'll do all time. Okay. Currently. I want to fight Shakur Stevenson. Uh-huh. <laughs> Why? Because like, he a thinker, and I'm a thinker, so I feel like that'd be a good, good, good chess map. But I don't know. All oh, time, I gotta go with my idol. I want to fight for him. I want to see him. Why not? He the best. He got the best record. I want to take that O from him. Mm. I, want, I want my name to be next mm-hmm. to that first hit. Mm-hmm. So I'll fight him. Talk to shit. Talk to shit. Or, man. Or I will fight uh, Roy Jones. I'm going to fight. I like fight boxers. I'm going to fight somebody that's going to make me think, like, you know, have a chess match. Like, I don't want nothing that's just, if he, like, somebody like Mike Tyson, well, I can just do one thing and meet him. Like, Mike Tyson like the bang. I'll be moving around. I ain't touching mm-hmm. him. Up, make but, him look stupid. Boy, you just better hope he, he don't hit you. I'm going to say, he <laughs> catch better, me, boy. I'm instead of one. <laughs> Especially prom Mike Tyson. Prom Mike Tyson. See, prom Mike Tyson, though, that's the thing with prom Mike Tyson. He could box two, yeah. though. Prom yeah, Mike Tyson. He was, he was moving in there. He was, hey, as soon as he came out of prison, <laughs> boy. Yeah, he got bad. He got bad. <laughs> boy. Anybody in his way. Boy. So, yeah. Uh, What's your dream job? I want to do real estate. Real estate? You know, Where? Go flip the houses, you know, anywhere. That's the, that's the thing with real estate. You could be anywhere. Yeah. You get to travel, you know? So it's like. I mean, like, it's like, it's real estate's a big, you know, yeah. high risk, high reward, though. Like yeah, saying. it is. I feel that. I feel you that. Know? Um, if I would do real estate, if I could do real estate, I'd probably go somewhere like, like Texas. Mm-hmm. Cause they got like, like Tennessee. Yeah, they got like all yeah. the big houses for like 300000 Like, you'll be able to get them all from so yeah. That's like the average house price for like. And you be getting that commission. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can get, you can sell multiple. Like, you try to sell one of them houses in Texas out here, nobody finna pay a million dollars. Unless, unless it's like you about to sell to one of the Chiefs players. But like, like, 
uh, Chris Jones or some shit. Yeah, you know? but I will go somewhere where they got nice houses mm-hmm. for good prices. Mm-hmm. So like you making good money mm-hmm. and it's constantly going. Or I would do trucking, but it's just a lot of labor, bro. I ain't trying to be on trucking. the road. That makes bank. And I seen some. It was like one dude. He but pulled in like, like six thousand in a week. But he did a long haul. Like he went from like yeah, LA to Florida. Like, that's great. How long that is? That's like that's like LA to Florida. That's like at least a couple of days. At least two. Two days. Two to three days. That's literally two to three days. To there and Because from here to Detroit is twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you got to stop for gas. Yeah, but then you in, then you say he was in uh Cali. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But from here to Detroit is twelve. So think about it from Cali to Florida. That's a minute. Like, literally. That's literally from coast to coast. <laughs> That's, yeah, I couldn't do that. I mean, I'd be happy when that check dropped, but man, I'd be. That's I mean, like you get to travel too. That's a lot you get to see. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure with trucking, you get uh, you go week on, week off. Yeah. It's good money. Would you, would you do trucking? I don't know. I don't know. Like, definitely not that. That's crazy. That's what's in my limits. You know? I feel like if I was to do it though, I would do it at a young age. Yeah. So like maybe like fresh out of high school. So it's like Yeah, you gonna be seventeen wanna, when you graduate? Then? Yeah. I'll be like, alright, cool, I can <clears> do that. <throat> but the thing is you only you can't do long calls until you're twenty one. Mm. So like if I was to do it right now, I would only be able to do like state in the state. Yeah, because we don't need you doing no long hauls, buddy. We need you in the ring, buddy. Not in the trucks. Oh yeah. Come on. True, that will be a way to think about it. I um I do that and then build my own gym. I need about they may give me about, about two months I have money to buy my own gym. I start I, I could be a coach. I ain't even got a box. I'll be a coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. We still need to box man. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I gotta make you can start work. coaching, you know. Yeah. After we see a belt, <sighs> you know, what belt? My Never. dream belt. What is my? Dream? What is your, your dream, dream belt? My dream belt. It's the money belt. I gotta get the WBC a green one. A green one. That's where the, that's where the most money at. You feel me? The money on. But I see, like my first world title, I could see myself getting like the IBF. Mm-hmm. Or like the WBO, I could see one of them because I mean Devin Haney. Devin Haney got the green one hit for his first belt, but like it depends on what weight class I'm in. Because I'm like, I fight at thirty, I'm not getting the WBC. Like one thirty? Yeah, like one thirty-five. I probably fight at thirty-five, forty. But like, I'm not gonna get that because Devin Haney already got it, and they're not gonna let me fight Devin Haney. Who is he? Is he fighting? He's supposed to be fighting Ryan Garcia next month. Who you got one in that? Devin Haney. Right? No, look, though. Don't get it wrong, though. They like they fought in the amateur six times. They three and three. It's going to be a good fight. Ooh. It's going to be a great fight. But the only little advantage I'm giving Devin Haney, no two. I'm going to give him two. I've seen Devin Haney progress throughout his pro. I've seen him get stronger. I see him get bigger. And then another thing is, uh, dang, what was that? He got more experience. Devin Haney almost got like 30 fights. Ryan Garcia was like 20. He like 25. Oh, well, I'll take that away. I think he's like 20, 24 and 1. Got one out of tank. <clears throat> All right, I take that one away then. I'll just say I didn't see him progress like. Ryan Garcia, he's still been boxing the same. Like, he still got to make the same mistakes. Mm-hmm. But I done seen Devin Haney make mistakes that he made a long time ago, like getting hurt from Lomachenko. And then when he fought Regis Probus, his last fight, he looked great. Like he made that fight look easy. I thought he was gonna lose personally. I did, I ain't gonna lie. But you know, other than that, I think I will get it to, like the IBF first or the WBF. What you about to do? Real estate? That's what you got your eyes locked on? 
I got family in real estate right now. I got oh, I yeah. got family. She got a cousin. She got a paid off cruise. You uh-huh. know, paid off AK. Oh my god! And my auntie right now. She's trying to sell a three hundred fifty dollars, three hundred fifty thousand dollar house. Oh my god! What's that? Thirty thousand commission. Mm-hmm. Ten percent, three hundred thousand. Yeah, that's like thirty-five. Yeah. Or no, it ain't three hundred. I'm tripping. Or not, not three thousand. No, nah, she getting about thirty. That's that's a lot of money. That's the money. Man. That's the money. Man. I feel like I wonder, I bro, you know, I really want to like streaming. Streaming? Like streaming. Because you know. Me and Ivory be on the game on some funny ass shit. Yeah. Like, could be on 2K on funny ass shit. Madden, funny ass shit. We need it like I need to get a PC though. Yeah. GTA RP. Like, like GTA RP? GTA RP. I can feel that, I feel that. Um I should say. Bro, that's what I say. Oh, I feel like I wouldn't really be good in real estate. Why's that? I don't really like talking that much. I mean, I, like, I could sell something. See, but but real estate's more one to one on one, one on two. So yeah. it's, it's not too much. It's kind of just like welcoming and then running the tour. It's kind of just like I feel like I'll be good at the part, you know, like where like when you start showing yeah. the house. Mm-hmm. Like I'll be good at selling the house out yeah, of where they start yeah, liking being a it. Persuasive type of guy. Yeah, yeah. but like. The talking the business part and like I feel like they started saying like some crazy stuff and getting on my nerves, but I'm like, alright, you can just leave. Like I ain't good with the back and forth kind of like like debative. Like I just get tired of it. Yeah. But I'd be able to say so you kinda gotta let it go all the way through. Yeah, like you gotta be like, okay, okay, but well yeah, we can do this with that. I can't do all that. Like I'm not good at well, I'm not gonna say I'm not good at negotiating. Real estate, they be getting crazy. So they be getting crazy. Crazy. Uh, uh, hmm. What's your thoughts on what happened over the weekend? At, uh, that shit crazy. In North Town? Yeah. That shit crazy. That's why I don't go outside the house, bro. Man. You know? I'm, I be trying to leave the crib. I'm just like, come on, bro. It's his son, you know? I swear. It's his I always do that. I be like, my mom be like, why you don't never get out the house? I be like, man. I'm like, just wait. Crazy just now. wait, ma. You know, I can't even say just wait, ma. Right. Crazy. I don't even got the money. <laughs> <laughs> but, like. If you know, you know, I live on my green. Okay. Yeah. But I just be like, I be telling them, I be like, it's so much crazy stuff, bro. You can't even have fun. No more. Like, right, bro. It's like this. Right, bro. It's like can't everybody want to be a gangster. Everybody want to be a gangster. These niggas want to be thugs. These niggas want to be thugs. Everybody want to prove their point. Everybody want to be thugs. Everybody want to be something. Everybody like, want to be the same. Yeah, so it's like... They want to be the same. They're just trying to one-up everybody. So... Be a real-ass nigga. For real, like, bro, just Stop be all that real. Faking. Like, it's Stop nothing, all that faking. There's nothing wrong with nothing, like... And it's this day, you know, these niggas is just too built up for the net. Yeah. Everything for the internet. The music, the rappers they hey. listen to. Hey, but like... Baby Double O? Five, seven, take. That's he. That's he. Other than that, y'all niggas buns. Yeah, it's a lot of terrible. terrible. My boy Tay Hard though, and hey, I like, remember? I like he be he be switching it up. He ain't yeah, always yeah. talking about slide and doing this, doing that. Hey, you know, no sneak this, but you remember Landon? Landon? Oh yeah, bro. <laughs> like a hey, shout out, my man. It's song with Take Nine, but like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not it, gang. Like it was cool. It was for cool. the time. It was cool for your age, but for the time. You grown. You grown now, bro, bro. And you don't even like. Come on, bro. If I would have, if I would have had a song take down, I'd be dropping every day. I would say, bro. I'm if I had the exposure that you had, bro, I would be going crazy, bro. bro. And I don't even have. Because you know how niggas be talking about take down. He had the most money in this bitch. Take down got the money on. He do. He do. He got um, the money. You got any questions for me? What do you see yourself in five years? Five on years. A, on a mental, mental, mental? way. Yeah. Mentally. How are you doing right now mentally, actually? We'll, we'll get there. It's tough. It's tough. I'm going to be real. It's tough. Um, I mean, always get, you got your ups and downs. It's life. But I would say, you know, I'm cool. I ain't going to say I'm oh, I'm just perfectly up there. But, you know, like, it's tough. But in five years, I see myself better. 
see myself stronger mentally, you know, because I'm be what? Twenty one. Yeah, twenty one. Yeah. You're literally twenty one. Young so I, bull. I'm twenty two. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, five years. I probably see myself a little bit, you know, way more stronger, more adaptable. You feel me? We finna, we finna get right with the people more, in the hallway. Uh, we finna get right. Uh, we finna get right. What's the word I'm looking for? More. Ooh, that's a big boy. Y'all not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me check. Let me check. <laughs> I see myself a little bit more, you know, like, uh, adaptive. Like, you know, being able to not overreact, being more Touch chill. Yeah, like, that's what, hey, I need that right now. So, you right. know, probably going to the therapy. Right. But, you know. The mentals, you know, we cool, we cool. Not for real, like, you know, we're definitely on the downside of it, but, you know. Yeah. Seen worse, been worse, so, you know. know Seen better and been through better. You know, that's react. just part of life. You gotta know how to react to situations like this. You gotta know how to play it out. Gotta learn how to keep it gangsta. Uh, right wave. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta we'll continue this one or what? We'll walk out with the we'll hallway. Alright, we back, we back. I'll go home. I had wrote some uh, little topics down or whatnot. Hey, y'all. Uh. Oh, yeah, we got Frank. Frank and Ethan now. What's your, What's your name? They already know my name, they. I know. Frank. Okay. Are right, y'all ready? Yeah. What's a topic or issue that you and your friends often discuss but doesn't get enough oh, attention yeah. from adults? I would I would probably say teens mental health. Yeah. Because we be often we be scared to talk to it about our parents. I'm not, you know, my, my mom is like my mom is like my best friend. My mom my mom my, my best friend. Ivory. Pick up the camera and put it on Ethan. Pick up the camera and put it on Ethan. Pick up the camera and put it oh my god, never mind. This nigga's an idiot. But yeah, yeah, like I was saying, you know. My mom is like my best friend, so you know I talk to her about everything. Me personally, I don't got a mama. So true. <laughs> I'm just being for real though. I don't got a mama or 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 daddy. <laughs> Frank, why are you laughing? I ain't laughing. I oh, ain't all right. Those. All right. Did you buy? You buy Look, yeah. I feel like I feel like people are scared to talk about their mental health because like they might feel bad and like they might not want to bother their parents with it either because like i know that hella parents like they have problems going on in like their personal lives and stuff like that but i feel like a lot of people nowadays like a lot of teens just bottle up all their emotions and stuff i don't know I just... also i feel like a lot of teens be like afraid that their parents gonna judge them or like they're gonna be looked at weird if they got something mentally going on. They might might think their parents gonna think they crazy. Or something like that. Like just it's different. It's a lot of different things that go into aspect when you're talking about that. That's it. We got any more? Alright, come on, next topic. Alright, next topic is What's What's up, hey? I got one. Look at, should men's mental health bun. Should men's mental health month come back? I definitely think we should because it should be looked at because out of all everything, I think men kill themselves a lot more than, you know, like, especially young men. Like, young men do often have a lot, a lot of mental issues that they don't want to address that's happening in life. I mean, women go through it, but, like, it's tougher on men. Like, it's, it's like men... The men's society is like survival or the fittest for real, for real. It's like, if you're weak, you're not going to get the best girl. You're not going to have the best house. You're not going to have the best car. You're just going to be at the bottom of the pack. You're going to be a weak link. So I definitely think we should bring it back. I'm going to add on to like the best house and like the best car and stuff. Like low key, it's not even about all that. It's just, you're not even going to have the best like mental state to, you know, even if you could yeah, afford all those cars and... You know, even if you could afford all that stuff, I feel like You're it would still problem. suck. Like, it, <laughs> yeah. you'd still be living, like, a bad life. Like, a not the best life. 
because of the mental state that you're in. I mean, you could have all the cool stuff and, you know, stuff like that. But I feel like, you know, it'd be just a cover up for the it'd be just like a cover up for the bad parts in your life and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I think we should bring it back, kind of focus on focus on guys more because, I mean, any statistic will tell you that men a lot. There's a lot bigger of a percentage of men. There's a lot bigger percentage of men that commit suicide rather than women. Uh, I'm not trying to like, you know, I'm obviously I'm not saying that women don't do it, but you know, they they all we all have problems. I know we do, but you know, there's a lot of guys that have more stuff on their plate and they've got kind of more problems going on in their life that go deeper into kind of detail, yeah. but uh, but yeah, I think I think we should bring it back for sure. Like, Come on, bro. You, know, you got some it's a topic. How do you feel about it? I I mean, damn, I mean, damn, like, damn. Y'all want a real killer in the video? You saying that? That again. That again. The next topic is, if you could have a conversation with any historical figure, who would it be and why? Um, I say... Ooh. Man. But no, nah, um, probably. Who, who would I? He got me dead a lot. Historical figure. Oh, back in the day. We gotta be dead or alive. Oh my matter, god, bro. It does bro. not matter. I'm about to walk off the set, Jay. Bro. bro, shut up. Alright, um. Look. He don't know. I'm going to tell y'all. All right. Um, Me personally, probably either like Malcolm X or Martin Luther King. I'd say Tupac. I could, I'll try to talk Tupac too, but um, why? I just want to see like, I want to ask them like, how they think. What made them want to, you know, do the civil rights movement? I know just for, you know, for the better purpose of all black people and colored people and for equality, but I want to know like what motivated them the most to, you know, do that. I'll be back, Jack. All right. Mm. Come here. Come on, Ethan. Who? Loki. Come on, watch out, bro. Uh, I feel like I don't even know who I would talk to. Like, there's a lot of people that are like really inspirational. There's like a lot of historic figures that were like inspired. Think. My fault. Um. I feel like I don't even know to be honest. Like, I don't even know. There's just so many people with, like, wise in for, like, advice and stuff like that. Especially back then. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Go ahead. Personally, if there is anybody in history, <laughs> I'd probably choose Elon so I could figure out his methods of earning money the way he does, creating new businesses. He's just a unique guy. Um, what would you say? Elon Musk. You know what I'm saying? He's got many multiple businesses. They're in the billions. I'm trying to be like that. That's it. That's it. That's all we got. Let's go to the next one. What's a skill or hobby that you picked up recently that you're passionate about? I haven't even picked it up recently. I've been in it all my life, but cars really. I'm I'm a lot like well, y'all know from that that one video we post on uh on the shorts. Uh, you know, I'm all about cars. Um. You know, stuff like that. I like building cars, working on cars. So. Yep. <laughs> oh, mine's, I say track, because, you know, I just got into that. And it's like, you know, it's fun. You no, know, I've been, I've been, I've been, you know, in the, you know, I've been in the lab lately, working on it. Well, that's all. I feel that, uh, mine's will probably be YouTube, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it's, a, it's fun, man. It's like you get to you get to do so much stuff and so much freedom. Like we do, we do, we making a video right now in lunch. Like you can do whatever you want with it. Like as long as you, as long as you got the camera recording, you can post, you can post anything you want for real. So I would say, yeah, YouTube. But uh, interest or hobby? Yeah, that you just picked up. That you passed up. I'd probably say real estate. I'm not there yet, but I'm trying to pick it up. I've been watching hella YouTube videos on it. Um. I'm not 18 yet, but I'm about to be. So as soon as I turn 18, I'll probably get my real estate license and try to walk in and grind on that. So I'm gonna gotta go to college. But you know, that is 
So I'm focusing on. I feel that. All right. Next one, we got um, how do you handle stress and pressure, especially with the challenges t- teenagers face today? Bro, I'm about to say. Loki, um. Why you just eat my shit, bro? Yeah, okay. Me personally. Me personally, um, I just be chilling. I, I, I chill at the crib for something like, but usually I don't be stressing nothing really. I be, well, I don't be have going through none of that. That's all. How do you, how do like, how do you deal with stress? Um, with me, I really, I try to do something that take my mind off that situation totally. Like I try to do something totally different. So like if I'm stressed out with my parents, I leave. Like you know, I go have fun. Shut up. <laughs> I try to go like you know, I try to go to the gym, go work out, like get something else. Or the easiest one, play the game. Close my door, play the game. Yeah. And just get it off my mind and think about it later. Like don't let it you know get to the point to where it stress you out. Yeah, I feel like when I like when I get stressed, I'll either go like on a cruise or I'll ask a friend to hang out or something like that, or I'll just like you said get on the game, and close the door. Um, and just kind of chill. I'll get on TikTok. I'll make some TikTok videos or something like about the car and stuff. Um, but yeah, Loki, I I feel like driving really takes my mind off of like everything. Like it, I don't know. I think personally, when I have stress that I'm dealing with, I like to figure out a solution to it. So if I'm stressing about something in specific, like I say, I got assignments I got to do, I'll come up with a plan. That will lower my stress, and I'll compromise on what I got to do to make myself feel all right. The MJ Bird merch says you.